Lagos State is still the epicenter of COVID-19 in Nigeria. On Friday, the Center of Excellence recorded 80 new confirmed cases of coronavirus in 24 hours. This brings the total number of confirmed cases in the state to 657. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control made its known via its website. It also said at least 16 persons have died from coronavirus-related complications in the state. And joining us live via Skype is Dr. Chima Onoka. Good morning to you, doctor, and thank you for joining us. Good morning. Dr. Chima, we have hit 1,000 MAC again. The question is, what is going on? Um, thank you very much. We're increasing our testing capacity, and um, that's quite a lot of work from the NCDC and um, the Lagos State government as well with, you know, the effort that has been put in there. And then, I mean, there's also community transmission. So telling us that you have a lot of people who are doing it, who are infected, and then the spread across the states um, has been remarkable. Mm. But it doesn't mean that we've lost the battle. Nigeria boasts of testing about 10,000 people in a country of over 200 million people. Is that good enough? Um, that's far from where we should be, but... Um, I think there's been a lot said about the logistics challenges and then with um, the need for more equipment, but then primarily, you know, a lot of issues around the logistics of um, getting the, you know, from the samples to getting the results, that's still, there's still quite some hiccup there. Mm, so we're not where we should be, very some, obviously. Some mm. states like Lagos are beginning to say wearing of masks will be made compulsory. How effective is this move, Dr. Chima? Um, at the moment, one, there's community transmission. Two, um, you don't really know who has COVID and who doesn't, because there are many people without symptoms um, who can transmit it. Three, people are mingling, you know, amongst themselves. And um, so we know that the lockdown, though is helpful, is not, you know, Total. I mean, there are lots of people who are mixing up. The truth is, everyone needs to get a mask. I repeat, everyone should get a mask. If we can get everybody masked, we will reduce transmission. If there's something that everybody needs to know, is that you need to go get a mask. You know, make one, buy one, but have a mask. If you're out, get a mask. If you're in your house, do you know what you want to do but as long as you protect those who are elderly but if you're outside have a mask on so are you advocating that every time we need to step out of the house we should have a face mask on you don't know who is transmitting because there are many symptomless people if we can keep someone from talking to us without a mask we stand a better chance because that will keep the person from spreading it Let's, let's talk about balance here. Now, there is fear, fear which has torment, and also the, the issue of paranoia. How do we now balance fear and paranoia during this time? Um, I think um, they are not like exclusive things. Fear, um, there's fear out there, but then there's also, just like we've been saying, that there's hope. And the best thing that we do is that um, in our in our efforts to bring a control or to slow transmission so that we can handle it, we also need to do the right things. We wash our hands. And um, like we've always said, we need to wash, keep our hands washed. That's, those are the things that we do, you know, out of reason. It is a reasonable thing to do, you know, and, you know, we need to manage our fears. We need to, you know, every, there's fear all over the place. But we need to do what is right, and that, and that's the main thing, you know, that's the response that should be there. But there's hope. It's obvious with the number of people that appear to have it that um, we're protected, you know, to some degree. I, I think we're trying to cope, um, but then there's a lot to do. And um, I would say very plainly, <laughs> I think God has been helping us as well because the results would have been very bad. But then we need to help ourselves and support ourselves to slow the process. Doctor, we're on the second lap of the lockdown, and there is conversation ongoing, tending towards a likely two weeks national lockdown. 
how effective is this and how enough is this when it comes to the efficacy of, you know, curtailing the virus and what can we do better? We need the lockdown um, to last a little longer. How longer? But then, how much longer, then, doctor? You know, the challenge with it is that um, with a lockdown in place where you have people mingling, people interacting in the evening, you know, you have you have some states that put a, a curfew, and in the evening, after 7 p.m., people pour out to the streets. You have places where people pour out once in, you know, twice in a week. So with that, even if somebody has symptoms and is transmitting, once you open up, you know, people interact and all that. It reduces interaction, but then it is not 100%. You know, during those times, transmission, once transmission happens, a cycle begins again. So it's a problem. If you make it 100%, that's when it becomes really, you know, something you can interrupt as long as you're picking out those who are infected, as long as you're at that stage. But when it's not in place and then you don't have people having food delivered to their doorsteps, it's a challenge, which is why I will repeat, let's get masks and then we can better protect everyone. If everyone wears a mask, we will significantly slow the process at worst and then, you know, at best, really reduce a lot of infections. Finally, Dr. Chima, social distancing doesn't seem to be working very well in some parts of Nigeria. Could you reiterate why it is important to practice social distancing to curb in the spread of COVID-19? Yes, yeah, so every, I mean, the critical thing that we want to get distance from is the virus and as much as possible. And that's where fiscal distancing and then social distancing, there are all kinds of in, in, interpretations but we need to stay away from the virus, uh, at least um, manage the transmission better. So I want to encourage everyone, um, whatever we're doing, we need to start with our, we need to start the distancing with our masks on. We need to sustain it with our hands clean, frequently washed, and then we need to give additional space to each person that is talking. And then that means that we have a better chance of, um, you know, achieving what we're achieving. So even at this time that there's a lot going on in terms of um, religious activities, please, 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 we need to keep the distance. We need it. Dr. Chima Onoka, medical practitioner, it's been a pleasure having you on News on the Hour. Thank you very much.